Hey everybody, Brandon Pollock here with Action Water Sports, and today I'm here to discuss and inform you about the use of your battery switch. In today's boats, with all of the accessories and electronics we have equipped, stereos, bilge pumps, lights, etc., there's a constant draw on your battery switch. So the thing I want you to take away, if anything at all today, is remember to turn your battery switch off after each and every use. The next biggest takeaway is going to be the combined position. I wanna start here because it is something that does trip up some of our customers. And the reason being is it's a third step in that battery switch, but let me break it down really easy. The combined mode pairs the batteries into what we would call a series. That combines both batteries together, so if one battery's juice wasn't enough to get the boat started up, the combined mode does just what it says. It combines those two batteries, gives you some extra juice to get you up and going in those emergency starting situations. The next most important step is to get it back into the on position. The on position is the correct position for the battery switch while the boat is running. And it also allows the boat and its systems to correctly charge each battery as required as necessary. So that on position again is where the alternator is going to be charging and recharging your batteries back up. So just to wrap it up, combined mode gets those batteries one plus two, gets you full power for starting in emergency situations. But you gotta remember, we're gonna go back to the on position after using combined to start. The reason it's not great for the boat not effective for the boat to run it in the combined battery position is because it, again, combines those batteries into a series and the boat is not designed to charge or recharge the batteries in a series. It can actually be counterproductive to run the boat in the combined position. You're not allowing the batteries or the alternator to send that electrical charge to the batteries to allow for recharging. So that combined mode, again, will not allow the batteries to be recharged. And that's why switching back from the combined position to the on position after your emergency start is another important thing to remember. So now that we've discussed turning your battery switch off after every use, as well as using the emergency combined battery switch position, Let's talk a little bit about voltage and why it's important. These boats have so many accessories on them and they are so sensitive to voltage. If you start to notice some systems shutting down, it may be battery related. Best practice for that, get the boat started up, make sure your battery switch is in the on position before taking off and run the boat for a solid portion of time, at least 20 minutes. That allows the alternator proper time to charge the batteries back up to an, uh, an efficient level in order for proper starting. Some potential signs of a low battery voltage situation could include your speakers aren't turning on, your data display screens aren't turning on, or various other accessories on the boat are not turning on. If you see any of these symptoms, it could be a sign of a low battery voltage. It may require swapping the battery out or just allowing proper time for charging. And that's the short and sweet of battery switches. If you have any additional questions, feel free to call Action Water Sports. But until next time, we'll see you on the water.